Hey guys, Nomus RC. We're doing a solar setup today um, just to kind of show everybody how it works and what type of components that you will need. Um, so here we just have two panels. These are off of Amazon. I'll put links in the description. They're like a hundred bucks a piece. They're a pretty big panel. That's about three and a half, four foot. We have our connections coming from the panels right here, positive and negative, positive and negative. And then we have a LifePo battery. That's a hundred amp hour. It's probably about the size that you'd put in your automobile. And then we have some extension cables for the solar panels. And I actually threw an XT90 onto here. And then all of these ends are normal connections for your solar panels. Uh, we're just running this uh, in parallel. We're not doing any series, so it's just going to be 12 volt. We do have a power inverter, a 750 watt. This is the charge controller that we're going to be using. It's a pretty decent HQST. Uh, it has an app and everything for your phone. Nice cooling heat sink on it. And then we do have an extension cord uh, that is actually going to plug into these wires here. We also went ahead and replaced this with a lithium battery as well for this jump pack for your automobile. And then we can check it with a voltmeter. So this parallel cable that I made is actually for four of these solar panels. Uh, we're only gonna be using two today. So we're gonna hook up the positive and negative to each one of these. Let's go ahead and get that plugged in. All right, we got those connections done and we will use, I just took a regular home extension cord, right? And just spliced it open and put an XT90 on it. So on the charge controller itself, you'll see that you have six different connections. Uh, we're actually not gonna use this one over here. Uh, we will use the ones that go to our battery, the positive and negative. And then we will use this one right here that you can clearly see is labeled that it's your solar panels, right? So we have the, the parallel cables coming up to our power cord. Our power cord also put an XT90 on and that we will just plug right into this right here. First we'll connect the battery and then we'll plug that in. So let's get these battery cables done. So we just put the post through here like so, and then we screw it down. Generally, I would recommend that you actually screw these down with a screwdriver nice and tight, but for all intents and purposes of today, we're just testing the system. So as soon as we put that in, we can see that the charge controller powered up and that the battery has 13.2 volts. So let's go ahead and plug in our charge controller, the solar panels. That's the voltage that our panels are at, and then this is the voltage that our battery is at. So some of the other things that we have today that we can hook up. So technically, when you run an inverter, it says that you can use these ports right here. These ports are only rated for very, very low amperage. So if you have an inverter that has anything more than a couple of amps, it'll actually trip the system and it'll just make this thing sit here and beep an error. So any, any accessories that you run, you actually want to run them directly off of the battery itself. So we'll take this and we'll clip that on there. And then we'll take our positive over here and clip it on. And now we actually have capabilities of, let's switch it on. Now we can run regular AC current. So you can hook up whatever you need to hook up. Cell phone chargers, lights, etc., etc. If you see this little device that we have plugged in here, it's not really necessary, but it's a temperature probe. And you can actually run it in between your cooling fins right here and just leave it sit there. And it'll monitor this. If it overheats, it'll actually shut it down into thermal protection. So let's go ahead and pull up the app and we'll check it out. And then that's pretty much all that we got here. So it's called Charge Pro 2.0. It comes with a little pamphlet uh, that came with the charge controller. And it shows you, you know, where you can go on the app store to get it, or it gives you a QR code that you can just scan. So we'll click the Bluetooth symbol in the app, and then we'll click on view available devices. It sees the Charge Pro right there. We'll go ahead and click connect. And now we can actually see that charge mode is MPPT. Uh, we're sitting at 14.3 volts. Our current is at 3.52 amps, which again, we're only at 47 watts. So these are both 100 watt panels. Um, and you can actually get them to perform around 80 to 100 in full sunlight. 
obviously like i said we don't have that great of sunlight today so that's kind of it guys uh, like i said you open the app you click on the bluetooth symbol it'll search for devices it'll find it and then you can click connect and it'll actually show you your your charge current right here and then how many volts and how much power that the solar cells are actually putting into the MPPT controller. And uh, that's, that's pretty much it, guys. So that's your basic solar setup with charge controller and uh, an inverter if you want to run uh, AC-powered accessories. And so we'll kind of go over it again. We have the panels. We have a parallel cable with an XT90 coming up. And it goes to this extension cord. And then we have an XT90 here, and that actually goes into the first two terminals. And that's going to bring the solar panels into your charge controller, right? And then we have a positive and negative that go out to our battery. And that's going to charge the battery. And your charge controller is automatically set up to charge your battery full and then stop, and so on and so forth. So you don't have to worry about it overcharging your battery. Um, and then after that, we can connect a positive and a negative for anything, you know, an inverter, any of that kind of thing. So we can run accessories off of the battery and give ourselves regular 120 plugins. And that's it, guys. That is how you set up a solar system, as always.